Hello everyone, welcome to Mentor Now. We have Ashwin with us. He is a current MTech VLS student at IIC Bangalore. Hi Ashwin, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. So Ashwin, can you introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, so my name is Ashwin Rajesh. I'm a first year microelectronics and VLS MTech student in IIC. And I completed BTEC in 2022 in electronics and communication engineering from Government Engineering College. And I'm from Sornur in Kerala. Perfect. So, Ashwin, in anyone's career, childhood creates a major foundation. How did your childhood went? Can you share about your childhood days? Yeah, definitely. Uh, in my childhood, uh, my parents and teachers were very supportive. And uh, I think uh, my eventual choice to uh, follow a career in engineering was inspired from there. And uh, my father was an engineer, and uh, he used to occasionally talk about uh, some electrical engineering and electronics engineering things. And that uh, gave some curiosity in me to learn about all this. And uh, my teachers too, I remember some teachers uh, who took science and math and uh, they were particularly, you know, they uh, inculcated uh, curiosity in me uh, to learn about uh, all this. And uh, that is eventually what inspired me to follow a career in STEM. Yeah, that's nice. So. Where did you study until your 10th? So till 10th, uh, I studied uh, in a school called Carmel's Car EMI school in my hometown of Sharno. Mm -hmm. It's a government school or? Yeah, it is a CBC school. Oh, that's nice. So after 10th, uh, uh, what path did you take? Okay, so after 10th, I decided to pursue uh, like science and uh, I decided to take computer science instead of biology and I continued in the same school. Uh -huh. oh, so until 12th, you continued in the same school, they are offering computer science. Yes. Nice. That's good. So after 12th, uh, there are many paths you can choose. You can go to a uh, bachelor's in physics, science. You can go to engineering. So what part did you choose and how did you choose that? Yeah, so I felt like I, uh, by taking computer science, I uh, really enjoyed programming and I felt like uh, engineering and uh, like for my uh, 12th physics also, I did a small electronics project and that felt really good, you know, making stuff uh, by my own and figuring things out. So even though I was interested in science, I felt like engineering was a good uh, you know, match for me and I decided to pursue engineering instead. But by that time, actually, I did not, I had not gone for any JE coaching or anything like that uh, because my parents also, they did not uh, pressure me to follow anything like that. So after 12th, I uh, just attended uh, the state engineering exams. I gave JE too, but I did not get in, uh, in any NITs or any such. And I joined the government engineering college in uh, electronics and communication engineering. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you said that you are interested in computer science, but is there any uh, specific reason for choosing electronics and communication engineering as a part of your BTEC program? So after uh, taking computer science, I tried to learn about programming online and uh, I felt like there were a lot of online courses and uh, the way, you know, I felt like it was actually kind of better to learn on my own rather than uh, through a syllabus or something. But at the same time, electronics, I felt it, uh, it there was a lot of mysteries around it, right? And uh, yeah, so I thought it would be better to expand uh, in that area in, uh, rather than just follow pure programming. Yeah. So are there any days that you remembered which made you focus on your studies during your undergraduate studies or before? Yeah, so during my undergraduate studies, uh, some uh, like events particularly inspired me to follow further studies. And particularly, we had a robotics lab and we used to do some projects there. And uh, that felt really good. And I felt like I needed to learn more beyond what was learned in, uh, taught in BTEC. And then, uh, as we know, uh, COVID hit almost after my second year. And uh, I attended some online lectures and online uh, you know, competitions, conferences and such, because uh, all, a lot of them just went virtual, right? So uh, at that time too, uh, all that uh, kind of inspired me to go beyond what we had uh, learned in BTEC. Yeah, so when did you start your GATE preparation? Can you share about your GATE journey? 
So I joined, uh, started preparing for GATE after my second year, and I started by joining a coaching institute called Manifold uh, in Thrissur, which is where I had studied for BTEC. Uh, that's good. So are there any challenges that you faced during this preparation of GATE? Yeah, definitely. GATE, uh, like if you just look at the number, there are like, what, 60, 70,000 students just looking for 500 seats or so, so 500 to 1,000 seats. And just that is very overwhelming, right? So that was, I think, the major fact, uh, major, I mean, challenge in GATE, just to be, you know, just to be confident in yourself and uh, stay motivated and learn. And obviously, there are a lot of uh, you know moments where we would feel like uh, there would be much easier things, other uh, easier things to follow, right? But yeah, I think uh, yeah. at that at my time uh, we were allowed to take gate in the third year. So after giving gate, I did not uh, give that much of a serious attempt. Uh, but after giving gate, I felt like if I had studied uh, more seriously, if I had prepared seriously, I could have uh, cracked it. So that is what uh, gave me the motivation to follow it. Uh, the attempt you made in 2022 is your second attempt, right? Yes. Okay. So, how did you manage your project placements and get preparation during your final year of BTEC? Oh, that was definitely challenging, uh, but. Uh, I d tried to uh, over have some overlap between uh, the gate subjects and the subjects that were going on in BTEC. So even by the time, uh, by my final year itself, I was, um, I had completed most of the core uh, basic subjects. And uh, then uh, also uh, we had to revise and everything, right? So whenever we had some free time, mm -hmm. I have cheat sheets and, uh, you know, previous year questions. So I just used to just uh, do that. Uh, whenever I was getting free time. So that is how I kind of uh, managed it. Yeah, that's a smart way. By the way, congratulations for securing All India Rank 21 in Gate EC 2022. Thank you. Dave. So after your Gate, you got a very good rank. You, you can get any IIT, IISC. So why did you choose IISC and what do you know about IISC before coming to IISC? So uh, some of my seniors had joined ISC before. That is how uh, I mostly know about ISC. Uh, seniors from BTEC had joined. Uh, and uh, yeah, around that time, we have the QS ranks and everything that uh, kind of uh, put ISC in the spotlight. And uh, after talking with the professors too, we have ISC has a good reputation for research, right? So from my yeah. previous experience as I said, I wanted uh, that kind of environment where uh, we could explore uh, everything, like a lot of research aspects of it as well, rather than just what we do in industry. So that is what inspired me to uh, uh, join IIC. Yeah, that's good. So what made you to choose VLSA as your MTech program instead of uh, other programs? So I just looked at uh, what was uh, most interesting to me in uh, the gate subjects, and uh, I was mostly comfortable with the hardware subjects. That was one reason. and. Uh, yeah, uh, even looking at the just looking at the syllabus of all the programs itself, VLS I felt a bit uh, in, uh, like the most interesting of all because it was a very hands-on program. We make circuits, we design stuff, uh, we debug, and that was that felt like a lot of fun. And that is what I uh, why I decided to pursue VLSA. Yeah, interesting. So you have already finished two semesters of coursework at IIC. What's your feeling now? Yeah, it uh, feels great. It. Uh, it kind of feels like, you know, uh, just climbing a huge mountain because there is mm -hmm. it uh, just compared to BTEC itself, it's a huge difference, right? Coming here, ISC does have that reputation for having a rigorous coursework and it is very practical. So it feels like we have done a lot of things in just one year. Yeah, that, that's really true. How did it impacted your personal life as well? I think uh, it has given me some confidence to just take up more challenging things in general. That is how it has impacted me. Yeah, that, that's the thing uh, what I hear from all the people here. So what are your future plans that you are going to do after MTech? Yeah, um, I plan to uh, pursue a, a career in the VLSI industry itself, and uh, maybe later on I'll um, Think about research and PhD and such. And ex uh, firstly, I want to explore the opportunities in the industry because I'm planning to come back to industry anyways. I do not um, plan on going back to academia. So. 
yeah that's a nice decision so ashwin if somebody is preparing for gate or any other competitive exam what ad- advices you give to them well firstly i think that uh, if you just look at the outcome uh, it would be very hard to keep mo- stay motivated and you know okay, put in the work so i think that first thing you should do is make the process itself fun make the journey itself fun so make uh, find ways to like you know uh, find you know uh, happiness in learning that and only if you do that i think you could really crack gate in an organic manner and don't look for shortcuts answers try to uh, make sure that everything that you learned really makes a sense to you rather than just mugging up uh, equations and stuff you could do that but i think if you do it in the organic way it would be much more useful if you even after cracking gate it would be something that would stay with you for for, for a long time right yeah just don't focus on rank or any other thing try to give your best on learning rather than focusing on rank because after joining yeah, here true. also you have to use your all those skills for finishing all this course work and by the way uh, heartly very congratulations for securing all india rank 1 in isro scientist interview recently only and if Thank somebody you. wants to connect with you how they can reach you yeah i'm on linkedin and uh, i generally try to respond to every, uh, anybody who reaches out to me so that would be the best place to uh, reach so guys if you want to reach him and ask anything from him you can just type aspin rajesh iis at linkedin <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining with us ashwin all the best for your future thank you thank you thank you for inviting me